the air blower is about to be plugged in to the tank to start to blow it up. That sounds very strange to blow off a tank. My name is Masi. I work with Oxpon Kenya as the water and sanitation lead. I'm here in Turkana County, an arid area. The biggest problem that we have here is access to water for both drinking and even for livestock. This is the platform where we're going to begin selling the deploy tanks, inflatable concrete tanks. Previously, we've been using plastic tanks. This tank is an innovation because it's inflatable concrete and easy to install. So it's a bit heavy to lift the tank to the platform, but that is what these men are doing right now. And then later on, we're going to remove the casing and lift the tank on the platform. Very careful. So we're installing the, the Floyd tank. We're just attaching the air hose to the tank so we can inflate it. And in a moment we will see uh, the tank got fuel plate. Hello, my name is Paul. I'm the founder and CEO of Deploy and we're installing today two units of the Deploy 14R. This is our 14,000 litre capacity tanks that are designed for rapid deployment, 100% repairability and easy maintenance. So it has been over a year of uh, planning this project uh, with the Oxfam team and we're absolutely so happy to be here providing these two water storage units for the school here in Kenya. Mercy is just hydrating the tank now. We go around very carefully, making sure the water goes fully inside. It will probably take half an hour or so. So we're on the second round of the hydration now. Um, we did the shower head, now we're going for the higher pressure. Just continuing to hydrate the, the concrete powder inside the textile. So we've just turned off the generator, so that is um, it for today. The tank will now cure properly overnight and we will look at it again tomorrow. So we're back now for the third day of uh, installation. You can see that we've got the two tanks up. One tank is almost complete. The other one uh, needs some more rehydration today, a couple of rounds. Plumbing and pipe work is now also being done. And the tap stand is plumbed in and ready. So both tanks are installed now. We just have one final connection to do. They're filling up with water a little bit more cleaning up and uh, moving things around then it will be ready to open to the school. The things that we do matter. So I'm really happy that while we are addressing so many things, we are able to address one of the biggest concerns for humanity, which is access to safe water. So I'm really happy to have been part of this project. I'm really happy for this community that from now on they're going to be having water. There's been a lot of lessons that we've learned. And just to see how it takes four days to put up deploy tanks compared to a month that we've taken installing uh, concrete or uh, steel tanks, a great innovation. These tanks will enable us to do all activities in school well, because before this, children used to go all the way to the hand pump to collect water. These tanks will help the learners and also the community at large. Thank you.